What's up, everybody? I'm I'm Getty. Uh, this is just a little clip. I have found a Cosmo in probably the worst place possible. Pack of three Ravengers over there. He's just running in a circle. Look at him. Hey, little guy. If I fight them Ravengers, they're going to come over here. I'm attempting to use a seed. We have metal armor. Uh... And we have, <clears throat> excuse me, okay. And we have the wingsuit. Do you want a seed? He's level five, so I guess all of them are level five. Hi. Do you want a seed? I only have one. I don't have any cat on me either. I've been looking around for one. It's back up here, uh, where you follow the portal. I knew I'd seen one here before. Sasha's up here running around on Ravager. I needed more fungal wood. Excuse me, I'm still smelting the metal. Okay. Come on. Uh. Does this tell me? That's fine. Lead them away. Come on. There's a bunch of stuff over here we can lead them to. As long as they leave Cosmo alone. We lost two Ravengers already. Uh, the two lower level Ravengers. We lost them. Okay, they're off on that turtle again. <laughs> Same one the Raptors were messing with. They're not very high level, but... They're so annoying. Yeah, better leave Cosmo alone. Not that much. The level. This is the Ravenger we got in the last episode. I guess it's still the last episode for y'all for me. Oh, he ate that one. Nope, we gotta go. No red. He healed. Come on, just jump. Get interested in the turtle. There you go. <laughs> he healed off that one, and I was like, mm, that's bad. That's bad. Turtle should be okay to get him. Yeah, you should be fine. I'm going back to see if I can get that Cosmo. Like I said, this isn't going to be like a full episode or nothing. This is just something I can throw in there. Hopefully. There he is. He's still here. Good, 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 good. Hello, guy. Am I supposed to, like, do a dance or something? He likes the seeds. He likes chitin. Next mushrooms. Should be safe here. Kind of like. I'm just getting your way. Does that work? Yeah, go back that way. Come on. Come on. Do a little dance, please. Ravager should be okay for now. I keep saying that. Like I said, a bear showed up. I'll show you on the log. Oh, he's waiting. Look. See there? Aberrant and Dire Bear, level 5, killed both of those Ravengers before I could get on one to save it. That was with me whistling neutral. They're, they're just so weak. We kept the one we were riding and the one we just got. The baby, so. Come on, come on. Yeah, I got a seed for you. It is the right seed, right? Yeah, plant species Z. Come on. I don't think I have to do anything special. Roll rat. <laughs> Come on. But buddy, I don't know what I did to tame the last one. I just kind of stood there and he was like, hey, feed me. Then my last hot bar slot. Um.
There were some people that said you had to like feed them and run away, but uh, I mean, if you're using their food they like, it only takes one feed. They're only level five. Well, this one's level five. The last one was level five. But I knew for sure if I showed up in the next video with the Cosmo, people would be like, oh, you cheater. Come on. Come on. Don't know how to... Oh, no. No. Get off of me. We got a wingsuit. Bleed. Come on. He's webbed by Cosmo. He got webbed. Get him, little guy. Get him. Get him a little more, please. There you go. Sweet. My goodness. Cosmo. You okay, little guy? Where'd you go? I don't hear him walking. Thunderfoot over here. So loud. Cosmo. 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 Don't see him. Don't tell me the Ravenger killed him. He didn't look dead. He jumped over the Ravenger. I know I didn't kill him. Come on, this way. Don't tell me we just lost that Cosmo. Over Ravengers. I don't see him. Aw, oh, man. Where did he go? I mean, he could have just ran. Hmm. Yep. Guess we lost him. I mean, he was a he was attacking, which is weird. So they're aggressive? A bare minimum, they're neutral. Yep. Man. I've been searching all over for one. I don't see his body around, so... See anything moving? I mean, he didn't say we killed him, did it? I mean, it wouldn't show there either, would it? He's hiding in this grass. I will never see him. Maybe if I walk into him? Hmm. Man. Is he back over here? I'm guessing he got killed or ran away. I didn't see him die. I don't know if you saw him die, but it looked like. Is that him right there? Or is that a baby something? That's him! Hey! Cosmo! It's a wild male. Hey, buddy. I want you. 
You're you're very strong and very brave. We make a good team, you and me. You need to let me feed you, buddy. Do I have to have cotton in my inventory? Because I didn't bring any cotton with me if I do. I thought he was like, you just follow him around until he wants you to feed him. Is there some kind of dance I need to do? I mean, there's probably a scorpion or something I can kill for some cotton. Come on, do I have to do a dance? Hmm. Come on, little man. Come on. Really? What if I lay down? Does that work? Come here. He's like, nope. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Back up. Does that do anything for you? If I get attacked, I won't be able to bust a move and get away from the Cosmo without him attacking. Uh. Maybe I have to have gotten in my inventory. I mean, you're right here by this guy. Let me go see if I can get a scorpion real quick. I think there was a scorpion up here. It didn't get itself killed. Gigantoraptor's saddle, or saddle, the Gigantoraptor's, uh, nest is still there. I thought there was a scorpion up here. There it goes. Right. Did they kill anything? Body. They were fighting something. I think it was a ravager, though. Go back to my base and grab some cotton. There's a pack of ravagers there. You know what? We probably should. Just go back to the base. We're above it now, I think. We'll just drop down. Yes. We'll drop down, grab cotton, go back. All right, we also got that seed growing, as you can see here. Uh, cotton in here? Yes. There. I was using it to make some mint paste, because we needed some. So let's go back. Give you more health. The the glitch is getting rough again. I might have to shut it down and open it back up, but All right. let's go. He's up under that roll rat. I wish they had more of a forward lunge. The Ravengers. That would be nice. Roll rats to what left here? Yes. Oh great, the Ravengers are on him. Th pack of three again? Where do they come from? Do we help him? Odds are we'll probably have to wind up dealing with them eventually. Where's the Cosmo? Don't tell me they eat him. Nope, he's right there. I got cotton on me. Huh. 
Hi. He's not wanting to do There's something else fighting. Carno. A level. 95. Ooh, nope. Need to get him onto something else. Deal fight. We have to kill out all of the carnivores here just to do this. All right, Cosmo, where are you? Oh, you're right there. Hi. Don't say when he wants to eat. Come on, the man. Oh, there he is. Got him. Sweet. Good job, Ravager. Let us go. Is, can you see him on our shoulder? Yeah. Let's get out of here. Now, uh,. I might have been just a little too harsh on Cosmo whenever I was saying that I liked him, but I wish he could do other things. I think he could actually do the other things. The grappling stuff that I was wanting him to do, I think he could actually do those. I just didn't know what buttons to push, and I think I understand what I was doing wrong. And I'll show you as soon as I get the Ravager up here somewhere safe. Get up here nice and safe. All right, there. So now, stop. Oh, Bob. So, from my understanding, uh, from what I understand, you get more swings if you increase his weight stamina or his his weight. Hi, Cosmo. So if I do this, if I go like this and use, uh huh, R B. He can pull him in. Ooh. Huh, now how do I do that with hmm, how do I do that with a wingsuit? So like, I can pull him in this way. So if I'm gliding. Okay, that didn't pull me in anything. Huh. So like... Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll have to figure this one out. He's definitely gonna need more... Uh... Charge. So we'll have to figure that out. He's hungry. Do you like mushrooms? Did we figure that out? Or does he only eat meat? Definitely not a mushroom guy. Okay, that's perfectly fine, buddy. Can get you some meat. Get a ravenger here. Get a couple more of them levels. Give me this. Do half. And then give Cosmo meat. There you go, buddy. Nice. So yep, I was just gonna show that me getting the Cosmo. Just in case somebody was like, you cheated him in. How could you spawn that? I didn't. Did I? You saw me get him. Close this door. We learned our lesson. And there we go. That's Cosmo. Like I said, this is just a short little clip. I'm probably going to add this on to something else. But it's, it's not going to be a full thing in of itself. What's up, everybody? I'm Getty. <clears throat> Welcome back to Ark. Survival Ascended on Aberration. Now, uh, we have Cosmo. I'm going to put that clip... Preferably at the beginning of the episode. Uh, we got it at the end of the last one. While I was doing some farming. Uh, and I also... Show that we lost both of our lowest leveled Ravengers to a bear. Uh, it was a, uh, an aberrant bear. Low level. Like always. See? 
Level five. We lost two Ravagers to a level five. And that was with them on neutral. So they deserved it. But uh, do we have any? We do not have any. Still. I didn't have enough greenhouse to make a full greenhouse effect, so didn't really have enough to make any greenhouse effect. But I did till it with the shovel, so there's that. Uh, another thing. Let's see, this is on. Web charges are on. I want to understand. Web charges. They're supposed to make like. The web charges are on. They're supposed to make it light up when you shoot something with it. Uh, and you do have this uh, R1 whip attack. I don't know what that does. L1 does nothing. Left trigger doesn't really do much. I'm still not quite 100% sure on how to use this guy. Because I said whip charges are on. Threat sense is on. Not sure yet. Really not sure. Uh, charge capacity. Not sure how that affects. Neither do I understand how weight or melee affects. I heard you use weight to increase their web swing. I, d I don't know. I also heard you do that with melee too. Uh, we'll just up the charge capacity. I'm not using, not using any charge capacity. He's shooting, but he's not. Like I said he's not using any. Uh, not using any of his charge. So how do we get this to work? That's the question. I mean, it shows that it's on. It's off. It's on. So how do you turn it on? Charge is showing it's not. It's 100 of 112. We have regen on. It's not regenerating any charge. Hmm. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it has to be in the dark or something. We'll have to play around with it. Uh, we plan to get a yielding. Uh, in this episode, it, it might not happen, but we do want to try. Now, we do need a couple of things to get the yieling, which is going to be a bed to start with. We're going to need probably some, uh, some healing potions. We'll definitely need healing potions. We'll need these seeds whenever they're fully grown. We need quite a bit of them, probably 10, 15 of those. Uh, and then we can go in to try and tame one. Uh, it's not easy. The process is very difficult, very time consuming. Uh, we do have metal smelting. You can see we've got our full uh, metal gear on now. We have metal going still. Probably gonna run out of wood again, but that's fine. We can always get more. We did get two crossbows, and we got our gear. Excuse me. Uh, it's not really anything we're, we're needing at the moment, other than fabricator. So that will need oil and crystal. We don't have any oil at all. I'm not exactly sure where to find oil either, other than the blue zone. So that's something we need to do: is travel around in the blue zone. Uh, we need some zips. Zips. Where are they? Where are they? There they are. Right there. We don't have any wood, I don't think. Yeah, we need fiber, we need wood. Can I make, can I make a sickle? Can I pull for one of them? Yeah, no wood at all. Anywhere. Cool. Uh... We do have the mod for these. It has been updated. So we're gonna attempt to try using that mod again. What we do need, we need fiber. And we need wood. 
Which everything is fairly close to this base for now. I don't know where the Spino went. He's either run off or been killed. I'm not 100% sure yet. I just know he's not here, which is perfectly fine. I am A-OK -okay with it. I hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, I'm having a good day. Feeling a little under the weather, but other than that, we are going to push through and see what we can do today. Uh, a little melee. Just because. No, that Ovis has a baby. Uh, getting a mutton farm wouldn't be too bad of an idea. If you do the babies instead of having to actually make the cakes, that would be really nice. But, again, we don't need mutton at the moment. The biggest things we're going to need is going to be for uh, the rock drakes. So, where are the... We need one of these. Fiber, wood, hide, sickle. So that gives us the fiber. Now this just needs stone arrows and more fiber. Do we have many stone arrows? No, we do not. We have 19. Isn't enough for many of them. We do need our sickles to go get some fiber. Right. Easy enough. Look at that. Oh yeah. It takes a fair bit of fiber to make those zip lines, which kind of makes sense because you're zipping. Oh yeah. Now another thing we're gonna need to get the yieldling is gonna be biotoxin. I think you could feed it narcotic to start with, but. With, with the uh, mushrooms around, biotoxin's probably going to be the way to go. Doing some mowing. Oh, yeah. So much better than doing this by hand. Sweet. Now we'll make a couple of zips. Because if we're going to run around on the Ravenger, we at least want to be able to get our ourselves into and out of trouble. So, zip lines. How many can we make? Quite make nine. It's a fair bit of resources, but I mean, it'll be worth it if we if we can keep them. All right, so nine of these we'll take put them in our keep. Might as well put the yielding saddle in there too, because it's not like put that in there. That's kind of all we really need to put in there. So now, we are level what? 69. So in two levels we can get Spino. Uh, we'll probably need another set of armor, a spare set to take on the yielding. looking to see if there's anything we really want to take with us. I mean, we could use cotton armor if we wanted to. That is an option. Nothing I really want. So yeah, we're going to have to go do our nice little uh, adventure. So, well, this stuff cooks. Drink that. Wait, you're on a fuel? You did. Oh, here, you can have some more of that. That's only a couple of minutes, but... And you'll be out soon enough, too. That's fine. Uh, we're taking Cosmo with us. Because, one, we need to learn how to use it. And I'm not sure how how you use it yet. But I was told that it is actually one of the best shutter pets you can have in Aberration. Better than just a regular light pet. And we're going to figure out why that is. Uh, I don't know why exactly people are saying that. But hopefully we'll be able to figure it out. Trial by fire. So they say, you know. Ah, ooh. Oh, that's makes sense to say. I did not jump that way. That's just a zip. I was gonna go down this way. I didn't remember this going this far last time. It used to just kinda drop you off right over top of the water. Yeah, kinda like that. 
Now, do we want up there? That's what the zips are for, you know? Uh, I'm gonna go zips. Now, where would be a good zip? I mean, up there would be nice. Probably can't make that. What I like to do is do the bottom one. And then angle this one. Just so I can see... Like that. See, I like to do the bottom one first. That way I know where the top one's gonna drop to. But there we go, look at the Ravagers down there. They wish they was as cool as us. And then we kind of jump off here. Perfect. A little high, but I think it'll be okay. Like I said, we're looking for... We need oil. We need... Where's the Ravager? What else do we need? We don't really need many things. But we do need oil. That is for certain. Uh... I'm gonna go up there. Bunch of Ravagers. Can we make this jump here? Go back up. Oh yeah, we got this. Professional art moments. Like I said, I don't understand the charge of the Cosmo yet. You're supposed to be able to shoot charged webs that act like lights to whatever they stick to. Let's go down here. Some crystal. We actually do need regular crystal. Oh, sweet. Just take up all of this here. Now, as far as like goals for today's video, I'm not exactly set on a goal yet. Uh, Navigating blue is kind of what we need to do. Now, to navigate the blue, running around on Ravager's fine and all, but we really want some good fighting kind of dino. A good fighter. Spinos is probably the obvious choice, just because of how frequent they are. A crab would be really good, but... Yes, we have the cannon, but... It's a very tricky thing to set up as a crab trap. I've set up a few, and not all of them work exactly like you want them to. So, all right, Cosmo. Shooting mode, charge. So if I just shoot all 20 of them, shoot them out to zero, then does it charge? And no ammo. Uh, see, now it's got the charge, see there? So now it's recharging. So it's it was actually off. Interesting. So off is actually on. Yes. So if it charges up all the way. Down there at the bottom, it says, charge light infused webs on. Yep. So this, now threat sense is on. You can only have one or the other. No, you have them both. Threat sense and charge light. Does it tell me what exactly those give us? Cosmos webs are infused with charge light. Cosmo is detecting nearby threats vulnerable to charge light and will automatically toggle charge light infused webs. So threat sense automatically targo toggles the, the infused webs. Okay, so that's like if nameless attack. It'll toggle the fused webs and shoot them onto them. Okay. So you don't have you could use you could use threat sense or you could just not just let him toggle his threat since there's a basilisk. What level is that one? 55 basilisk. They are a passive tame. You have to drop eggs. Get them to eat eggs. Which we cannot do. Now another thing we're going to need is gas. So we do need to make gas collectors. Fair. Gas collectors aren't difficult. 
I think we just mostly need cementing paste. Uh, let's look. Gas, 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 gas. Maybe, because I think you make them in a smithy. Cementing paste, red gems, that's what we need. We need to go find some red gems. So, you know me, I don't like Fertile Lake because we're just not good at it. We're not good at navigating there. What are you? 30. There's another one. Like I said, spinos are everywhere here. 20. And our Ravager is not really the best team to be fighting spinos. So that's fine. We'll just kind of run ourselves around. Going for a drop off. In oop, there's another basilisk. What level are you? Fifty, I think I said. No, fifteen. He's a fifteen. He's a lot faster than they used to be. Look at him. We're just gonna kind of avoid him. We don't. We don't need to mess with the basilisk right now. Uh, the best eggs you can do would be, I, think, I guess, rock drake eggs on this map. Dropping them rock drake e eggs and then letting them eat them. Little rat. Crab jumping out of the water. We need to go that way, I think. I think this way. Yeah, either that way or more left. I don't like swamp areas. I, I, ever. I, I never like swamp. I don't care what map it's on. But sometimes it's safer to do that than to try and work your way around the long way. Another gas collector on our left. Or gas vein, I guess I should say. Ooh, spider. Hello. Goodbye. You don't mind me and I don't mind you, buddy. Stegos. Nah, I do okay, he's got charge light on. He keeps turning it on. I wonder why. It says what stuff that's affected by charge light is why they turn it on. That's fine. We got level here. 50, 35. If we find a good leveled Spino, we'll go ahead and try to get it. We've got 153 arrows, so that could be okay to get one. Now, we do need to go ahead and probably throw down an upgrade station and start upgrading our crossbows. Then we have Ravengers over here. We need to go that way. Yeah, we'll go around. There's another Gigantoraptor. Scorpion. We have to go this way. More Ravagers. There's so many Ravagers. Hopefully Cosmo can web them and slow them down. There's a Sarko. Don't mind me. Sometimes you just have to push past all the threats. There's another Ravager. Ooh, there's another Ravager. They don't. Hopefully Cosmo will Cosmo them. <laughs> Hopefully he'll web them up if they get too close. There's a Raptor. There's a Gigantoraptor. Holy cow. Man, I hope we're not going in a bad direction. Look at this place. I remember this place from ASE. There used to be like a drop under these waterfalls. This leads back towards the Fertile Lake, though. No? Yeah, that does lead towards the Fertile Lake. We need to go that way. Jump in here and get some water. Nice. We got plenty of food with us this time around. Because we, we, we remember to cook some food. Really quiet out here. Now, I did get some climbing picks, so if we find some good drops, we'll try to collect them. Is that a drop or is that just a battery charger? That's a battery charger. Battery terminal. Those crystals there in the distance are usually a good sign you're going towards the blue zone. Part of the reason we brought the zips with us, the zipline anchors. Little bulldogs and raptors and all kinds of things. A little laggy here too. Super lag. I remember them crystals being a lot brighter though. K 
can't look up because lag. Yeah, like those used to be super bright. Not so bright anymore. Now they did boast, wild card that is, boasted like an 80% performance boost from their new uh, updates and stuff. For aberration and it, to be taken advantage with the other maps too. I don't know if that's going to be actually a thing, but 80% over this can't be bad. Oh no you don't. That was close. I think there's a drop over here. There's a raptor there. Kind of want to get grab a drop and see if we can get out of one. Make sure that raptor's not coming. Right, blueprint for a, a, a journeyman fur helmet. That's that's not what we need at all. Not even a little bit. Uh, more left, more left. Oh, another Ovis with a baby. See, we could get the babies now with the cryopods and just cryopod them and take them home with us. That, that could be a thing. More gas. Now, in theory, we could just wait around and collect the gas balls until we had enough for what we need. But the gas collectors are so much more efficient. There's a metal rock. Look at that. I'll be. These are right here. 33 and a half by 62. If you want to come look. I'll be. Beats making it all the way into the blue zone. Just kind of ironic because that's where we're going anyway. Can I make that jump? Nope. That's fine. Now one way we could go into like a radiated zone would be to get like a lamprey, one of the little eel things. I don't know if there's actually a way to get into the blue zone without falling from here. Come on. Come on. There you go. Yeah. Boy. This is dangerous. All kinds of danger. We can't tell what's below us. Uh, could make us a couple of zips to get down. Hmm. We're kind of in a position where, whoops, fixing a fall. Should probably go back down towards where we died and go down that way. That is technically a safer route, even though we've died there quite a few times. It doesn't mean that it's necessarily the most dangerous route. It's just... I, I don't want to die in somewhere where I can't get my gear back again. Especially with Cosmo. Like, we could cryopod the Ravenger, or just have it follow us and use Cosmo to swing out there and just let it follow us, let the Ravenger follow us. Cosmo being low level, I really don't want a chance swinging and losing it. This whole reason I went ahead and made the suit, the wingsuit. Uh... Raptors. Okay, so we're getting chased by raptors now. Great. Now we're on a bread. Technically, it's not bread, but it was a baby, so it's imprinted ravenger. So it is faster than a regular ravenger by a little bit. So we can technically outrun them until we run out of stamina. Okay, left should be like a way towards the blue zone. Yes? No? Maybe? More gas? Yeah, blue zone. Uh, said this map, so pretty. They did dial back the color a little bit, but it's still a very pretty map. That's the path we've been taking get, to get down towards blue zone. Now, I am curious to see how Cosmo reacts to Nameless. We're gonna find out. Because that's where we're going. And then over here. Yep. And then down. Oh, there's a megalosaur. 
Nope, nope, nope. Go up, go up, go up. Get away from him. Don't want him to bite you. No, 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 no. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. We don't want none. No, 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 no. Oh, no. No. I knew that was going to happen. I hate Megalosaurs. I don't think you can bowl them. All right. We're good, we're good. He got distracted. We're gonna go this way. What are you? Yeeling. Oh no. Oh no, you don't. Uh, now, the way the yeeling works, for anybody that doesn't know, like the needles that it, that it spits into you, once it has a stack of 40 in you, that's when it dive bombs you. That's when you're supposed to, like, stun it and uh, feed it narcotic or, you know, biotoxin. If it hits the ground, it'll charge you. 135. It does take headshot damage, though. We do not want it to dive bomb us right now. Because we're not trying to tame it. We're trying to kill it. There, we got 229 damage. The dive bomb is ridiculous. So strong. Now, if it touches the ground before it gets a chance to dive bomb you, then it'll run at you. There's another one up there. No. I had to sneak away. <laughs> I said Ravenger is not the kind of mount to take on this kind of stuff. Now we could get us a Megalosaur. It would not be a bad team to have here. Mostly because Megalosaurs can't pick up other Megalosaurs, but they can pick you off the back of a Megalosaur, so that's a thing. That's why you want a good pike or something. We don't have the uh, the trap with me, I don't think. No, I don't have a trap with me. Hmm. It's okay, we're not here for that. We're here for red gems. Now, red gems are probably gonna be more south. Like between blue and red zone. So like, that way. Into the danger zone, yeah? Well, let's just make our way that way. Keep a watch out for Megalosaurs. And hope that Cosmo can fight off the Nameless. That's what we're hoping for. Nameless are coming, buddy. Hello, threat sense. He's pulsing. But he's not lining up. He's pulsing. His webs are on. But he's not shooting back. Uh, whistle attack my target. No. Nope. We need out of here. Because if he's not going to shoot, then... We'll go with the lip plant. If he's not going to shoot, then they can spawn in a reaper. Huh. I mean, we'll be safe in the lip plant. We have to test this stuff. if we don't test this stuff, there's no way to know if he's going to actually work. He's pulsing. Did zero damage. Okay, he's shooting now. He's only doing a little bit of damage, though, because he's low level. He's shooting at him. Maybe I just had to get off and get on. <laughs> He's shooting them with a lot of stuff. We'll keep messing around and call it a reaper. I mean, 
probably gonna break that bed too. You see how little damage they do though with that web and me I don't light it up. Four damage, seven damage. I mean, he's shooting them. He's just low level. You dealing, Cosmo? That doesn't make him run away, though. Does not make them run away. It does make him. It does make him take damage, though. The Yi Ling, where's that thing fighting? Much more nameless coming in, though. He's not shooting them there. Okay, he is shooting them. Hmm. I don't know, it might be better off to use a light pet. Cause Cos Cosmo's low level. If he's high level, it could do good damage. Once he shoots them, they kind of run away. Yeah, once he shoots them, they're, they want to run away. They don't stay webbed forever. Yeah, and we may want to get way too many of them on us. So let's change him out for a bulldog for now. Just to be safe. It's funny, they spawn in around the plant. We get any aimless film? Yeah, six. Okay. I could see where Cosmo would be good if he was like high level, did good damage. They're just going to keep coming, though. Because the light is off. And this is so laggy right here. There's this tree fell and I can't see. There we go. Keep shooting, Cosmo. He does, he makes lights. Okay, so before I do this, save game. Okay. Put you down. Pick your stuff up. Charge is low. Go ahead and let you charge up. I don't want to up your regeneration. Taking this, he's just gonna stay out anyway. What was it really? Fix your game, wild card, please. I don't want to like double take stuff out of my inventory to put stuff back in my inventory. Don't have a lot of charge. I guess we'll sit here and let him charge up a little bit. Now, one thing, um. So one thing we do have to think about is going to be where to get the red gems. Uh, look at our map here. This is a drop-off. These are drop-off zones going down towards red. But there's more blue over here that leads into a red zone. So we could probably try to follow this little bridge here. There very well could be, like go south, westish. That may help us. 
he almost full. I think his charge is set to come on when he's at full. You know, I don't mind if I do. I don't want not the bed. Yes. And there we go. Sweet. All right. Let's see, we want to go southwest this way. Yeah, this way and more right. Now, I know we attempted this one time, and it did not work. We're going to attempt it again this time. It's like that way. Now, you can get on the roots. Uh, we're going to get a melee damage. Down one, that one. Any minute, there we go. I mean, we have zips in case we need them. Now, the downside to going up bridges and stuff is definitely going to be the spores. But you can get hit with a spore cloud and not see it. This way? Yes. Need to go that way. Correct? Yes. We just have to be smart. Uh, odds are things are going to load in around us and behind us. And it'll be harder to get out than it is to get in. But we are on the lookout for red gems. We may run across some rock drakes. Titan poas, arthropoas. Uh, everything. There's a rock drake. Mm. We ain't even gotten close to red stuff. What level are you? 75. Hmm. Go down there. Is there any way back up? Probably not. Ravagers and the reduced fall damage get you into a lot of trouble. Do we go across the root system? That's the drop off that gets us down into the Element River. Ooh, these bulbs. Those are new. There's another rock right down there. Odds are we're going to run into a lot of them. But we need red gems. Where to find them? I honestly don't know. But look at that. Frames cleared up right here. have to kind of look out for these spore clouds. That root does go down. There's a vine there. Uh oh. Guess we'll try this way. It's super quiet here. Very eerie and quiet. So we do have zips. If we get in too much trouble, we'll find a high spot and zip line our way out. Again, if we get in too much trouble, we'll wind up getting killed anyway. There's two Rodericks. And a Pyromane, so they don't fight each other. Why is that? They don't fight each other. That's terrible. It's over there. Kind of red. I don't see any red gems though. I do not want to fight a power main. Look, I might wind up putting the. getting the mod that blocks the power main spawns. That Roger just went invisible. Well, they're fighting something, but not each other. But I do not want to fight. Pyromains and aberration. I don't feel like they should even be here, to be completely honest. Story-wise, it doesn't make sense. They weren't here to begin with. They don't serve a purpose. I feel like, it, I feel like they're a money grab. Don't tell Wildcard I said that. <laughs> That's exactly what I feel like. I feel like they are just... What is that? Oh, it's fighting a snail. But I do feel like that was kind of the thing 
wild card put them on here because they're like they're that'll give us a chance to get more money out of them. Alright. Let's charge up our lap head a little bit. Nope, not that one. I wish I could have this as like a mic a macro. Alright, now we're looking for red gems. We're on like the verge of the area. I always get lost down here on foot, just to be honest. I get lost so fast on foot down here. Need to charge up a little bit. There's a Megalosaur. Just gotta keep her head on a swivel. I mean, a Megalosaur would be good. You couldn't take advantage of the zip lines and stuff. But, like, as a medium... Kind of just a medium, uh, tame carnivore. Wouldn't be a terrible one to have here. Where does that lead? Nowhere that I can tell. Cosmo! What level are you? You're level 20. You're better than mine. Do I have cotton on me? You have cotton on you? We have keratin. Does he like keratin? I actually don't think they do. No, cotton. And acerbic mushrooms. I like the knockout mushrooms. I ain't got any of them either. Uh, did I bring cotton in my keep folder? Nope, we did not. That's fine. We know they're here in the blue zone at least. There's Nike. I haven't seen one of them in a while. What are these? What color? What is this? Blue. Blue gems. These are white. They're blue when you break them, though. Okay, well, we don't really need blue gems. We have blue gems. We have blue gems at home. on our Angie. Oh, I have one of them plants. Oh, I forgot I had one of them seeds. Ooh, no you don't. Dang, Arthro. Trying to break my gear. There is a rock drake over there invisible. There is a megalosaur who is sprinting. We're in a terrible place. Like, I hear that rock drake walking. Hopefully they still have problems walking through uh, these little trees. This may lead to some kind of a, a spore zone. Go up here, please. Just want to look. Okay. That run trick is there. Oops. One twenty. Hmm. Their level in the wild it does not matter. Let's turn it around and go back this way. <laughs> right. Yeah, we have to be very careful. I'm looking for freezing spores. Oh, got me. Dang it. They got me. Uh, yeah, none of the mushrooms that I know of help you with it. No. We're okay, though. We have plenty of life. As long as we don't run into too much more of it. Man. I hate these spores. We do have food, though, so we can heal ourselves. Doing fine. We got plenty of life. We'll be okay. The freezing part hurting you kind of helps you if you have enough food. As long as we can also stay awake. There we go. 
Keeping our torque port up is the is the goal. There we go. Because we don't want to we don't want to fall asleep. Thirty six. I don't have any more wake you up mushrooms. Ease our way up here. Crayon. Get a couple more stems. There we go. All right, now we're good. Very carefully. I wasn't expecting the mushrooms to just blast me when I walked by. I thought I could like creep through the little dead zone, but they had other plans. Now those charge stations, I guess if you had like a charge light gun, would be good. Something we don't have yet. You can charge your batteries. They don't provide you with light. I thought they used to, but they don't. What's this way? Okay, this is going back to where we came from. Still don't see any red gems. I do feel like we need a better traveler to explore this place fully. Like, we got a couple of really good spinos. They would be really good to fight with down here, because then you, you wouldn't have to worry about uh, the Carcanos or uh, or the Nameless. You wouldn't have to worry about the Reapers if they were good high level and you had the charge pet and your charge light with you. You'd be good to go. So we might do that. There's some more metal right here. Interesting enough. Some water. Crabs in it. An angler fishies. Hmm. Don't worry about the arthro. I think this is a way out here. There's Ravender. Yep. I'm just gonna go this way. Take a right. I should go up. Yeah. If we have to, we'll zip out, but we really need to make us an actual road. Or at least like a good zip line to get us up and down. Free of dangers. Let's see this way. That's a mega sword. Yep. This leads up. Hmm. I might have to do some like exploring for some red gems more. Like I do a little more research. Should lead us up more towards green. Uh why I getting dark all of a sudden. I mean my light pet's not really a good one, so. Either is our Cosmo. Megalosaur. Nope. Are you still coming or are you st you're stuck, right? What level is that Megalosaur? Max level something. There's, it says there's a max <clears throat> max level dino here somewhere. Megalosaur's right there. He's only level 20. Okay. It might be a bug or something. No, like a literal bug, you know. Like a light bug or... A uh, dung beetle, something like that. Hmm. Well, that didn't lead us to any red gems. It also didn't help us with any oil. I don't know a good place to get oil here. There's a Megalosaur right there. You're level 40. Hmm. Yeah, we, we definitely need a bigger traveling dino. Yeelings jumping. Hmm. There's another Megalosaur over there on the left. No. Hmm. Carcanos. Fighting stuff. We're not too worried about them unless they grab us. If they grab us, then we worry. This way. Ooh, that's a big fish. Hello, bananas. 
I think you put on a... Yeah, I think what we're going to have to do now, get us some Spinos. Now, Spinos aren't like my first choice. They're an easy choice up here. We have that Spino spawn right beside our base, so that would, might as well be something we take advantage of. Can't really afford to be picky. A Ravager's a good upground explorer, but it is not a fighter by any means. If you want to get, if you want to get supplies, sure, they could be a pack mule like an RG. But unlike an RG, they they don't have the ability to get away from trouble too easily. The zip lines are only few and far between. Those yearlings just fell out of the air. You know, one's a one ten. Yep. I'm stuck on a rock. Just keep running. <coughs> nope. Hold on, my stamina. I'll take both of you on. You're level 60. You have a baby somewhere. See their baby. No telling where it ran from, though. Oh, we just want to get rid of this thing. All right, just keep on going. Uh, this away. Yes. It's amazing. As many times as I've ran this on this game and the other, I still get kind of lost. Even though, like, the same path home every time. Maybe that's a sign I should move my base further towards the blue zone. I mean, we're going to have to eventually to take our army down to fight Rockwell. Because we'll have to go down into the uh, Elephant River, past the red zone, wee wee down. Because that's where Rockwell's at. He's in the bottom. The heck? Oh, Scorpion. Yeah, well, at least we're almost home. It's a very unproductive trip into the blue zone this time. Now, I know I said we was going to get Yi Ling, but we don't have enough... Uh, we haven't prepared enough. We don't have enough preparation under our belts to take on the Yi Lings. We don't really have enough preparation to take on the blue zone in general. Don't see any spinos. I know those like level 50 or whatever up higher. Which is better than Z. Dang it. Ooh, we're good. We got away. Right over here. Anything in here? There's a sarco right there. Level 45. Not what we're looking for. Oh, uh, we got up here. One a don and a stego. A bear. Bears aren't terrible. I don't think it'd actually be worth Taming and raising one though. Scorpion. Yeah, there's just, there's no there's no spinos here now. Uh, down the water from our our base is a good spino location. But over here, more ovises and bears and parasers. Oh, just stegos and dodos and moss chops. So yeah, this zone has become progressively safer for some reason, all of a sudden. I'm not sure why. I guess nature has ran its course. <laughs> um, 
I mean, the more raptors we kill, the more the herbivores will have a chance. All right, so let's look down from our base. We know their spinos there. We will more than likely have to build a trap. Well, there's a light pit up there at our base. Nope, that's the plant. The plant has finally blossomed. Thank goodness. Come this way. There we go, Carcanos. And that river's usually crawling with spinos. See a real rat. And that Carcanos. I don't want to mess with the Carcanos. Level 45. Hmm. Well. I mean, at least our plant bloomed. Lot fruited. Uh, at least our plant is light. Lit up. I, I don't know what to say about it. it it's there. Let's see if it's making enough. You can actually turn off. Okay. I mean, it's lit up. It used to be a lot. You know what? I don't need all this stuff around it either. They don't have enough greenhouse effectiveness to even, uh. There. There you go. You can spread your light out now. Are you making seeds? You've got 12 of them. Well, I mean, that's what we're looking for. And I'll show you what I mean. These are flashbangs. So you equip them, they're organic. Boom! <laughs> are you really? Good nails. So that's what you need for the yearlings. So we'll let, let them just build up a good stack or so and then I'm gonna put this in here and our water jar in here and then we'll dump the rest of the stuff so that wasn't exactly what I would consider a non-productive trip we didn't find what we were looking for we didn't find red gems yet give you more life gems nameless venom will take I mean, we come back with stuff, just not the kind of stuff we need. Uh, put you down here. Here. Just dump this stuff. We really need to work on a storage system. Yeah, we really do. We just put most of it in here. here. That's about to spoil, so I guess we could, we could go ahead. Sure, we'll just go ahead and sort all this out. Get some spoiled stuff so we can make some narcotics. We're low on berries. We don't have a berry getter anymore. So we'll have to think about that. Come on, split faster, please. Couple thousand stacks. Come on. We really need to split all like split all stacks, but come on. There we go. That's not all you can split, but that's as many stacks as we have in our inventory. Two hundred and fifty-nine is not bad. Put this in there. Put these in there. And we'll work on getting some more. Uh, we got some here. We got eighty-six in there, so we can make some more. This, this, and this. 
them in there. Hopefully soon we'll get on to making some trank darts. But we'll need more gunpowder. Gunpowder and spark powder. 240 of that. Okay. And now what else? Is my armor beat up? Yeah, a little bit. I think I'm wearing metal. Everything should be metal. You can't put the skin on your armor piece if you're also wearing the wings, which is dumb. Got the engineering suit. I want the engineering, the wings, everything. Well, you just can't. Uh, so we need pull, and we need gun powder. Okay, well, as you can see on the map here, we were just right here, kind of like the end, end of this zone here. There's another blue zone here we can probably try to get to with zips. It, it borders the red zone. We may be able to get some red gems there. This and this, I believe, is like the border for radiation. Like once you start going down into the red zone, you start taking radiation damage. So we'll need those congealed gas balls to make a radiation suit. Which I think you make in a fabricator. Yes, you make them in a fabricator. Uh, fabricator is going to be a little tricky. The oil is all we don't have. And I don't know how to make oil here. I don't know where to get it from. Um, to make it base is fine. Spark powder is easy to get. The rest of this is easy to get. I do not know for the life of me where to get oil. Probably from the, the lakes in the blue zone. Probably. Uh, but I don't feel like that'll be an easy thing for us to accomplish. Like I said, we're going to have to get us some good, uh, good strong spinos. Which, if we wait here long enough at our base, it's loading and deloading this zone. Spinos have been loading in here. And we've had a rough time keeping anything here. Now, I understand we could build, like, fences and gates and big walls and just make it to where stuff doesn't spawn here anymore because you know that's kind of how it works the more structures you have in a location the less things will spawn there kind of cool like the more the more influence you have on the zone less likely wild stuff will spawn but that won't be today oh, i don't know i just want to look 12 12 is 60 pounds so technically, this will be all we need to do to get a yield link. Uh, but what I've seen, like a level 50, 55, 60-ish will take like three feeds of biotoxin. And we don't have a lot of biotoxin to start with. We got 17. You can expect a couple to spool while you're doing it. So that is an option to go get the yield link. Do we want to try that today? They're going to beat up our armor. Hmm. So... Best bet would be to take a couple of sleeping bags with you. Just in case. Hmm. We have enough for two. Yeah, we got enough for two. Just a wait a sec, wait a minute. Uh, wait a second. Okay, we, we got some more. Three, maybe three will be okay. We could take a bed, but again, that's a, that's a, that's a bit of a commitment there, taking a bed. Place the seed. Keep the seat with us, though. Biotoxin. We could get more biotoxin from mushrooms if we wanted to. Uh, we can attempt to get a, a yeedling. Yeah. That's an option. Good one. Good one. I'm dead. You know what? Sure. Uh, take you off. We're gonna take and. I don't know why I took him off, but just threw him down. Save.
Save game. Alright, little guy. Uh, charge, fast charge, regen, wait. And melee. Why don't you give me melee? Why not? You're low level. I don't need you attacking anything, so we'll just leave both of you here. So we don't want to lose any of them. Uh, we'll take a Ravenger. So we know where Yilings are. We do have a Yiling saddle. We need the flashbangs. Hold up. It only takes like one when they dive bomb you. I'm sure we're going to screw this up. It's not even like, oh, it might happen. No, we're going to screw this up. It's just going to happen. I'm going to take these 12 with me. Put them here. Put that away. Sleeping bag. We'll put down here. All right. I've got armor. Do we want him to tear up our metal armor first or our hide armor? We have hide armor. You know what? Let's just wear the hide armor for now. If he breaks it, we'll go ahead and get put on throw on our metal stuff. Water. Food. Here we go. Cause we're 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 probably gonna die. It's not the easiest thing to accomplish. And we killed that one high-leveled one. Now, we don't need super high-leveled Yiling. Mostly because I don't know how to tame it efficiently yet. I just want to tame it because it's a new creature. So I can say I got one. And as many times as they have ruined my tames at base, fighting them is going to be the hard part. There were some going into the blue zone we were just at. In our little tunnel area. Seems to be a very popular spot. Now we aren't going to have to worry about Nameless. Because we shouldn't be that far down. Okay, let's not do that. We're supposed to be professional. Oh, there's one. What level are you? 40. You know what? That's fine, but we really need to get rid of everything else in the area. Because it will attack all the other stuff. That's kind of what we need to do. Here, Raptor. Level 5, really. There's other Raptors over there. Are you after me or them? You're just, you're just flying away, that's fine. Scorpion. Where did he go? There it is. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Kinda just stuck anyway. Oh, you're fighting the pair, sir. Well, we know there's another one over here. We saw the second one. Just over there fighting something else. There it is. Way out there in the distance. Okay, you just... Don't... I would rather you just not be here, Mr. Parasaur. Kind of what the, the Yuling is probably thinking too. What level are you? I very much appreciate if you just did deal. 15. That is not worth it. Fifteen is not worth it. If I'm gonna put in this trouble. Alright, any minute now. Ow. You can bite down her said it to my face. Just 
that. You come down here. Come on. There we go. Got it. Alright. Rid of the weak ones. That other one was just up here. Is that it? No. Then he got himself killed. Probably. That's fine. It's not that big a deal. Uh, we're going down further anyway. And the guy, not they get too. All right, let's go on where we were heading anyway. Said uh, uh, the dive bomb. If you do not hit them. With the flashbang before they dive bomb you, it is going to hurt. Severely. Is that it right there? 25. You know, we'll get a low level one just so we can say we got a low level. Or got a level one. We'll go not passively. Passive. And we gotta let it hit us. And we gotta let it build up to 40. Killing the dodo, huh? Don't have my ravager. Hit me, please. Hey. Leave my ravager alone. Thought the ravager was out of the way, but I guess not. You can put him in a cryopod. May actually have to. Cowardly. I don't know what cowardly does, but his feathers seem to be making that happen. Uh, there's an explorer note. Oh, you on the ground now. Don't try and bite me and run away. That's fine. I didn't even put down my sleeping bag yet. Look, I don't want to kill you. There you go, run away. Really? Come on. Can I put can I put over here without getting Okay, you're getting hurt, but let's do some inventory management before I leave, let you go. I'll take the meat. So I defeat it, the rest of the stuff does not matter. You wanna bite me now? Alright. Right, run away. Put that down, give me this. Get out here in the open. I say when it hits 40 down there in the bottom, that's whenever we gotta watch out for him. Ooh, he died by me early. It's a timed one, hit the wrong button. Dang it. I threw it. Hit me. Maybe I got a flashbang myself. Ready. Oh, hit the wrong button. Broke my armor. Did I hit him with it? I did hit him with it. No, I hit the. No, no crossbow, no! Dang it. Oh, armor, please. Woo! My goodness. Man, he tore through our health really quickly. Ugh. Woo! To use some stamina. I don't know where he went. That's a low level one. You know what? Give me my Ravenger. <laughs> I'll sit on him and heal. So 
over there. Huh? Nope, just flash my move. Alright then. I said, I think you have to hit them as they are dive bombing. What is he at? Bulb dog. He's like, if it's high level, he'd kill me. Just need a heal. Give ourselves a second. He's fine, he could take it. Yeah, I don't know if you need him to get up to the whole 40 uh, feathers or if you have to let him build up his charge. I'm not sure. Oh, is that hurt? Uh. I mean, we knew it was going to break this stuff. That's fine. It's just terrible anyway. Um, we should have made some healing potions. Hmm. If I just throw it... I don't think it does anything, does it? No, he's still walking. Oh no! I forgot about that. Knocks you off your mount. Stay under the ravager, we're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Huh. Having them out here is gonna be nicer. We're good and open, but. Hey. Look, I'm floating. <laughs> Looks like I'm holding the feathers in my arms. Uh. Freaking save. Now my rabbit is about. I mean, the rabbit is fine. I'm the one about dead. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about this. We may have to actually try this a different way. Hmm. Yep, that hurt. Yeah, I gotta get on you. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, that was not not effective. Hmm. Another yearling over there. Look like. That was a low level. And it shredded me. Granted, I'm doing my best not to deal any damage to it, so it's not like it's. It's not like it doesn't have the upper hand on me. I mean, anything's dangerous if you don't fight back. Hmm. Sound like a ravager. But I think we'll have to pass on the yearling for this. For this little while. Uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not too worried about uh, losing my gear or anything like that. I think my Ravager's more than capable to take on a Yiling. Especially low levels. I don't think the Yiling is going to be our next mode of transportation. At least not anytime soon. Oh, Mr. Bear. Huh. Well, I mean, I would say we're coming back with a tail between our legs, but we really didn't lose a fight. We lived. I can't know. Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna have to get ourselves some spinos. So I'm gonna do that. Probably between now and the next episode is gonna be I'm going to take and do a couple of different things. Primarily, I'm gonna try to push for getting more. Uh, Times. 
guess I used all of my flashbacks. But they spooled one. Interesting. I didn't think I did, but I guess I did. Looks like it. Oh well. Not the big deal. Hello, little dog. Hey guys. I'm back. This in there. Some more meat in there too. That's fine. I know we could have took it and split it and yada 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 yada. We're not going to. Who had gunpowder? Can make bullets. Which would be nice. But we need long neck. And we need, you know, we also need, we also need a upgrade station. Can I pull for one? Oh, I need wood. And metal. But I've got the metal. I'll have to get some wood. But that, that's not, that's not for here now. I mean, we made it back. We didn't die. We didn't find our red gems either, so. This was kind of a bust episode as far as getting stuff done. Which, I hate when that happens, but it's better than dying over and over again. We gave our hand at trying to get uh, the yielding, which, honestly, that seems a bit more tedious. Don't know if it's going to be worth it, but we are going to attempt to get one again at some point, just not here. So, but if you like this episode and you like content like this, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe. It really helps the channel, and I hope to see you all in the next one.